Hey guys, my name is Ben. Um, this is going to be my review of my dorm room setup. Um, and the size of the dorm room uh, depends on what hall you live in. Uh, this is currently Finley Hall, room 307. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you guys how I set up my room. So uh, if we enter right through here, you can get a pretty good like overall view. But I'll go into detail explaining every bit, right? So, um, this is my side. Uh, I have my fridge, uh, fridge mini free, mini fridge and the freezer um, right there. And uh, you know it's good for all the good stuff like holding on to your cold food or or keeping ice cream in your freezer. But I definitely wouldn't recommend Whirlpool because uh, their fridge. Uh, likes to freeze a lot of the stuff in there and uh, more than once I've had like freezer burns in the refrigerator section so keep that in mind um, back here we've got you know pretty standard stuff um, I've got a coffee maker and a water boiler definitely use this a lot all right be sure to invest in a good pretty good coffee boiler or a water boiler uh, when you get to college uh, and then I also have a small wireless charging pad um, I just got it because I like wireless charging and, uh, it's a lot of preference stuff. Um, you're not allowed to have extension cables, so if you want to just not look behind the coffee maker, uh, we'll just call it good. But as long as you keep, as long as it's out of sight, the RAs don't really care. And as long as you unplug them during breaks, you're not too obnoxious with them. I don't think they really mind. Uh, right here is kind of like our first um, social area. So there's my roommate's pouch share. Um, I had one before, but I'll get into why I don't use that anymore. Um, behind my roommate's chair is my is my closet. Um, up there we have a non-flammable like air freshener, which is required by, well, which is uh, you can't have anything that burns uh, on campus. So we had to we chose to use that. And I also have a couple snacks up above my uh, closet. Um, so with one of these doors, I used it as like, you know, a towel dryer after my showers. Uh, so let's open this up. So, right, the first thing I've got is like this triple rack plastic drawer system, right? So in here I keep like, you know, um, extra eating utensils. Um, what is this? Vitamins and like minerals. And then I also like to keep, oh yeah, more tea bags. So that's pretty interesting. Um, additionally, I like to put... Um, granola bars here but I'm kind of out right now because I ate them all during finals week um, and then down here I just have a bunch of extra hygiene supplies so you might have noticed that there are a couple of uh, empty uh, cardboard boxes right next to it so this uh, bottom one originally was full of canned soup of course over the course of two terms I've eaten it all same thing with up here right there used to be a bunch of cup of noodles now there's just some leftover cereal and uh, here's just what I had for extra space. Um, and I keep an extra pair of shoes in there and whatnot. Okay. Uh, these things right here, highly recommend. All right. Get yourself a good set of these like hanging drawers. All right. They are very useful. So I like to keep, you know, extra sweater. Okay. Extra blanket and like, you know, another scarf. My khakis and then more like winter gear. Just to like, you know, make sure that. Just to keep, not only just to keep it organized, but just because, you know, it's a very efficient use of space. All right, so we'll close this up. Um, for clothes, what I like to do is I like to put them in the two bottom drawers, right? So you'll see right here when I open this drawer, uh, I keep most of my shirts and pants in here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just like to fold them up and stick them in there. Just because it's all, it basically does the job. And it's still the same, you know, same thing. So down here, I keep my underwears. And whatnot down here as you can see it's not quite as full as the uh, top drawer but that's okay so I'll close that back up and uh, move on uh, you may have noticed that I don't wear shoes in my dorm room and that's perfectly fine um, we bought like a hand vacuum so we vacuumed like this entire floor um, and I also have a doormat so we like to keep our shoes right over there um, and yeah it, it really works out and it gives it a lot more of a homey feel to it just because I don't wear shoes at home uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm Asian, so there's that. But um, here's the back side of my door. Um, we like to put a couple of command hooks, and I bought these from the beaver store. I know this one's off center, but that's okay. But um, the middle one we use is like a key hook, so whenever we're done with classes, we like to put our keys there. And then the other two are just for like extra lanyards and stuff. 
but uh, let's move on. Right, so right here, which is the space in between my bed and my closet, I have a chair, and then behind it I have a shoe rack. But as you can see, I put a, uh, my Razor scooter right there. I don't really use that anymore because it's broken. Uh, me and my roommate like to put our shower bags on the top of that shoe rack. And then just below that is just, you know, as you can see right there, just shoes. It's a shoe rack. Gets the job done, you know. All that good stuff. All right, so let's move on. So right here we have a carpet. This carpet is one of the nicest feeling carpets I've ever had, or rugs. You know, just because it, it just feels like, you know, really comfy. All right, so let's move on to my side of the loft. So I lofted my bed, right? I lofted my bed. Highly recommend you loft your bed uh, when you decide to come to Oregon State because it just gives you so much more space to do things and to put stuff, okay? And then here's a great example of how to set up your spot. Of course, if you have your own like smaller TV, um, what I've seen my friends do is they'll put like the TV on one end and put a little pouch here on this end, but they would like to put their like desks out there, not underneath their bed, but uh, we had a different setup just because my roommate, he brought his TV over. So we have like this entire spot's like entertainment. And then this side of the room is like where the people sit. So, you know, we don't really split the room straight down the middle. Um, it's a pretty dynamic relationship. So, and I like it. So we get to do pretty cool things with our room. So let's get on to what's underneath my loft. Um, on the top, I have, you know, a picture of my family, alarm clock, and, you know, some hygiene products. Um, and then in these drawers, I have um, a mix between academic and personal things. So if we take a look at, nope, at this drawer right here, I have, you know, my lab coat, my lab goggles, and my lab notebook and other stuff. Um, and then I also have, you know, extra graphing paper. And I think this is soap that my girlfriend bought me. Um, that's pretty good. Um, right here, I have my dirty bin. Uh, it's empty because I just went and put it in the washing machines. Um, and then these are my clean clothes. I don't really like to fold up my clean clothes just because, you know, I'm always busy doing something. So I like to just keep that in a pile and just dig through that whenever I need clothes. Um, let's move on. So these are my personal drawers. Um, let me give you guys a nice bit of advice, all right? These drawers are personal drawers. The RAs cannot just come into your room and search your drawers unless they have evidence that you've done something wrong, okay? So I'm not saying that I have anything in here. I'm just letting everybody know that if you're gonna keep something against the UACS rules, it better be in these drawers, all right? Not saying that I have anything in here. I am a very rule-abiding person, just letting people know. All right, let's move on. Uh, so right here, I have like a pile of my old exams, uh, as you can see down there. Uh, my most recent one, chemistry 232 final, that shit, that stuff messed me up good. Um, and then I got, you know, a pair of nice over-the-ear headphones, multi-tool, uh, and an Apple Watch that I don't use anymore, so we can just put that somewhere else. But uh, yeah, that box is there because I had no thing to eat during finals week, so I decided to go through, you know, a box of granola bars. Welcome to college. Um, I got my retainer box here with my retainers, a microfiber cloth, a couple of Dutch Bros stickers, um, and then just some random uh, random paperwork. Um, I've got, you know, chocolate from my girlfriend, uh, cologne from my girlfriend, uh, and yeah, and then I've got my water bottle here. I like to put the Dutch stickers on there and just like stickers that I've accumulated over the years, but you know, it's just something that I enjoy to have. Uh, let me put down my laptop. So as you can see back here, I've got a pretty decent setup going on. I'll address this first. So it looks pretty messy, but it's very functional, right? I've got a six wall, six plug extension here that doesn't technically count as an extension cord because it's connected directly to the wall. Um, I use that to run um, this power brick, which charges a lot of my accessories. Um, and I have one connected to here, which charges my wireless charging pad. Um, and yeah, and I also have an iPad. So I like to have a couple lightning cables around just for, you know, when I need it. Um, here's one of probably the most important things in your dorm. All right. Um, I don't know if you know this, but in most cases, dormitories only have one water filter. And that water filter is located on the first floor or the lobby. Okay, so 
if you're anywhere but the second floor of your specific dorm hall, all right, you need to get yourself a big ass jug, all right? It doesn't even have to be anything fancy. Like I bought this thing for like two bucks, all right? And I just reused the Arizona container, all right? And this thing fits like, what, how much is it? One gallon, all right? And this gallon jug lasts me a solid couple days, all right? Pretty nice. So I'll put that back. Um, right here, this is like my little work setup. So I have a nice little gaming mouse pad, um, my wireless mouse, and then I have um, my XPS 15. This thing's like my baby. All right, I bought a nice skin for it. it took me three hours to put on, but I did it, and it looks it looks pretty good. All right, okay, so let's move on. Um, right here, there will always, most of the time in most dormitory halls, um, there's a space between, you know, your loft and the wall simply because pretty much all uh, all rooms have blinds and so you need a little bit of space in between there. Um, most of the time, there's just like a bunch of dust and like debris buildup in that little area. Um, but what I did is I put an air filter right there just so I could have something there. Um, and it's pretty nice. I like the ambient noise. Um, and so on. So underneath my desk, I have a memory foam mat, uh, pad right there. Um, and it's really nice for those long work sessions when you just want to rest your feet. Um, it, it just also feels really nice and also your feet don't get cold. So that's pretty good. Uh, moving on. This is like the back side of our room. So right here I have a warm light lamp. I highly recommend this. I use this way more than I use that thing, all right? Because that thing gets uncomfortably bright and you do not want to use it, all right? This warm light is very nice, okay? And it, adds, and it, you know, really helps set the mood in your dorm room, okay? So um, that's our heater, all right? You adjust it with the knob that's inside the machine, but uh, we just like to put extra stuff that we have there. So we have, you know, a couple water bottles, a couple speakers, a fan, and then a box that I need to ship out pretty soon. Um, where we decided to put our trash is uh, right back here. So there is actually two bins right there, but you know, um, it's about to start spring break. So we decided to just stack them and put all of our trash in one thing. But normally there's a recycling bin and then a trash bin goes right here. And we like to have trash bags in both of those, uh, just cause it's more convenient and, uh, it really works out. That's a pretty nice spot to put your stuff. Okay. And, uh, this side's my roommate's side, but I'm not really going to show that cause that's his stuff. But, um, yeah, this has been, you know, this has been a pretty solid review of, you know, a male take on a dorm room. Because I, I do see a lot of, you know, female reviews of their dorm rooms. And uh, when I was applying for college, uh, I always wondered, you know, how does it, how, like, what does a guy's setup look like? Um, again, it's not the cleanest, um, but it definitely works. You know, I keep things clean enough. Oh, and right there is my suit for formals because you need one of those if you want to do Greek life on campus. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.